Okay, I thought I'd jump in here before we start the whittle. This is the project we're going to be doing. I took it very slow. It's a pretty straightforward whittle, uh, but I took it very slow, so it is a long video. I will have timestamps in the description. Originally, I was going to upload it in two parts, but I figured you can choose to watch uh, watch it how you like, and if you want to watch it all the way through, be my guest. Um, and uh, we'll start the uh, whittling coming up. Hello again, everyone. Ken from Whittling Woods. Back again with another whittling wood carving tutorial. As I mentioned in the prior video when we did the uh, mushrooms, the last uh, video, um, I'll have a link in the description and uh, something will probably pop up somewhere showing you where to uh, where to click on and go to that if you're interested. Uh, I mentioned that um, for this week we'd uh, we'd populate our little mushroom forest with a with a little gnome. So um, today we'll we'll do a little whittle of a gnome. It's, um, I would say this is a beginner, slightly advanced beginner, someone who's done some whittling before. It's probably not the, you know, it's got a little uh, more difficult parts to it, but in the end, it's still, if you take it step by step and take your time, you should be able to handle it. We're going to be using this piece of basswood here. Um, actually, my wife found it in one of the arts and crafts stores, um, um, you know, that sell all sorts of different pieces of wood. So I'm going to give this piece. I usually don't use wood from those stores, but she happened to find a, a few blocks of it, and they were a pretty good price on sale. So um, she picked me up one and uh, figured, what the heck? We haven't done basswood in a while, so let's, uh, let's whittle it in some basswood. We're going to be using some North Bay Forge knives, uh, probably these... Maybe these three. I don't know if we're going to use all three or not, but um, these knives are from North Bay Forge, and uh, they are. This one was is a modified version. It actually had two cutting two cutting edges. I, I ground off the one and, and just am using the one cutting edge. I like these knives; they're real good. I've I've mentioned them before, um, and uh, look uh, look them up if you're interested in North Bay Forge. They have a website, and uh, they make some very very nice knives. So anyway, we're going to be using those knives and uh, and and this piece of basswood to do our little gnome today. And it's going to be, just so you know here, I, I marked off the whole block is four and a quarter inches, but I marked off about three inches. Um, so we'll whittle him in maybe three inches. He's probably going to be a little shorter than three inches, uh, but, you know, give or take, uh, that's that's how it's going to go. So uh, the rest of the block, you know, when we're done, we'll just cut this section off, but it'll be nice for some extra um, area to hold on to. So I'm going to get everything set up, and I will be right back. Okay, uh, first thing here, what I like to do is I'm going to take down the uh, the edges. It'll make it a little bit easier to hold. Sometimes holding a piece of uh, squared off wood like this um, can be a little uncomfortable uh, over time. So what I do is I just kind of take down some of the, you know, I'm going to be holding it down here. So it just makes it a little bit easier to hold. Um, and um, there you go. Um, again, in case anybody's interested, this is a little stop block. I've mentioned it in a couple of my videos. You can put a piece against it. It gives you a little bit more, um, you know, uh, secures the piece when you're, when you're making long cuts. So it makes it just a little bit easier. First thing we're going to do is just, again, take down, take down the edges all over the place here. So just um, start rounding it off a bit. And obviously it's a, it's a little gnome. So the next part, we're going to establish his little, his little gnome hat. And um, that's just going to be going around, start narrowing. I, uh, just so you know, too, I mark center lines all across all piece and across the uh, end grain as well. I would suggest you do that. Just uh, draw your center lines all the way down. It'll, since we're going to, you know, have a hat that we kind of want it to be pretty much in the center, his little point on his hat there. So uh, take your time and do that first and then just uh, kind of go around and and start uh, and start just tapering it in a bit. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And you can see it, it's, nothing, it, it's nothing more than forming a cone at the top. As far as how far down you want to go, you know, um, looks like I went down maybe a little bit more than a third. Uh, excuse me, a little bit less than a third of the of the three inches. So probably probably about an inch or so, give, give or take. Uh, again, I'm not using any exact measurements. If you want to make the hat a little shorter, then by all means do that. None of my measurements are critical. You can you can follow along with a smaller piece of wood or a larger piece of wood. You can 
you know, alter the dimensions. I'm just giving you some basic references, and you see what I'm using because I know you know some people like to like to know what dimensions and the in the piece of what I'm using, what knives I'm using, and that's that's perfectly understandable if you're just starting out. And you you know you want a little bit more guidance, but the, again, don't. Don't get too hung up on measurements overall. So rather than sitting here and boring you with this, I'm going to kind of zoom through this where I just, um, you know, bring this down into into a cone shape. So uh, the first uh, inch or so of the piece of wood. So let me uh, zoom along here and, and I'll be right back when I'm done. Okay, just thought I'd uh, jump back in here. Um, our little gnome guy is going to have uh, little ears that stick out um, on the side of his head. We're going to say this is the, this is going to be the front, and then we're going to have an ear over here and an ear over here. Um, they're going to stick out a little bit. So because um, you know pictures of gnomes, they kind of have ears that stick out. That's probably going to be the most involved part of this of this carving is getting the ears uh, together. So. <clears throat> With that in mind, um, the the piece itself, the face and all that's going to be going to be in quite a bit more, and even even the body, because um, we're going to want the ears to be the most uh, kind of noticeable uh, feature. So keep that in mind when you're when you're whittling this. Leave leave wood on the sides here if you're going to follow along with this uh, this same kind of uh, whittle here. Um, but also since um, um, the way I like to do these is we're going to have his, his little boots going to kind of come out over here and over here, and then his beard's going to come down in the middle. Um, so, uh, we'll, we'll, um, you know, we'll, we'll work towards, towards that end. Uh, but again, a lot of this wood on the sides, uh, front and back are, are going, we're going to take it down quite a bit more. Um, we're really using a piece of wood, uh, this wide, an inch, uh, and three quarters, I believe it was, uh, because we want the extra wood for basically for, for the years. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, <clears throat> if you have a band saw or some other type of saw that you can use, you could certainly, you know, pre-cut some of this to make make it a little bit easier um, <clears throat> for you, but, um, you know, um, if you want to save some time uh, doing that. What I like to do for the, for the uh, face um, is to start angling, angling the wood in from basically where the ears are going to be to where the nose is going to be. So I just kind of go down here and I, I start removing wood. We want to leave a high spot in the center there for his uh, gnome nose, a uh, round nose that he's going to have, a chubby round nose. And again, we're going to, you know, we'll be taking back uh, quite a bit more wood here, but, um, you know, we're, we're th that's what we're working towards. And, and you know, kind of same thing in the back, his hair is going to come out behind his hat and all that kind of stuff. So. You can see how I've, uh, I've done this. I'm probably going to angle the point of his hat back slightly because I'm going to have the hat slightly tilted towards the back. Um, so if this is the side, the hat's going to be slightly angled. So the point of his hat's going to be kind of over here a little bit, so not directly in the center. But these guidelines are helpful because it gives you an idea of, of you know, kind of where you're at. And, uh, you know, you can kind of use those as a, as a point of reference when you're taking this down. So... Um, that's that. All right, and we'll take a little bit wood, a little bit of wood off the uh, the back sides as well. Cut this back a bit. We're not going to need all that wood there.
So there you go, that's, that's kind of where we are now. So um, <clears throat> what, what we're going to do here is kind of establish you know, where his hat's going to, uh, the bottom of his hat's going to be. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to be ta taking down quite a bit more, but let's, let's set up a reference for ourselves. So we'll come down. Like I said, I think it was about a third, maybe about an inch or so down uh, from, the, from the top. Because um, I don't think I want him to be completely three inches tall. I want him to be, be a little shy, maybe two and three quarter, two and a half inches. I don't know, some, something like that. Um, but um, uh, we'll see. So um, let's just establish the uh, uh, stop cut for the bottom of his hat in the front, and then just kind of cut up to that. And like I said, we're going to be we're going to be removing. Um, sorry, I'm going to bring that up just a bit more. I think I went down a little bit too far. There you go. And then we're going to just kind of come along here, and like I said, um, kind of focus in on making the bottom of his hat. Or, you know, an, an, at least the initial um, cuts for that, to establish that. And primarily because I want to know where my ears are going to be. The ears are going to come uh, stick out just beyond the, the bottom of his hat. At least that's my intention. Sometimes these things change as you do it. But that's what my intention is. And... Uh, you can probably see the final product somewhere up over here, uh, so you know what we're aiming towards. A lot of times with these type of windows, I don't really go with a with a particular pattern, or, or um, you know, I might I might do a couple test whittles on on pieces of wood just to see if I'm if I'm happy with uh, the way things are coming out. We don't want to remove too much wood over here. Um, the hat's going to be cut back a little bit more, but we, again, remember on the sides, let's, let's keep some wood because his ears are going to be over here. Okay, and we're going to just continue around here to form the hat. So I'm going to uh, zoom through this so you don't have to sit through that again. We're just, just carrying it right around here. Keep it, uh, keep it at, you know, pretty much the same distance. All right, let me finish that up and I'll be right back. Okay, there you go. Um, just kind of went around and, and formed the, the boundary for the hat. Again, this is probably not going to be the, it's probably going to be a bit narrower than this. So we're going to be, we're going to be taking this back a little bit more. But again, since we're, since we're doing um, ears that stick out a bit, we need to, we need to establish that, uh, um, that area first. So I'm going to leave, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm leaving the wood on either side just to, uh, just to um, do the ears. So alright. If you use your center lines as a as a point of reference, you'll know exactly where the center of your nose and where you know everything is. So you know, keep that in mind. Sort of work your work your piece. As you can see, how it looks from the side. Work your piece so these two planes here kind of meet at the center. I'm going to try to keep in general the piece relatively simple to do. Um, you could you could certainly take it like all the little pieces. You could take them in, in different levels, but let's let's try to. There's going to be enough complexity in here in terms of uh, in terms of his ears and his little uh, little gnome boots. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it relatively relatively simple in, and approachable for people who are relatively new to to whittling. Um, would I recommend this as your first whittle if you're brand new to whittling? Mm, probably not. I did a couple videos recently, mushrooms and an evergreen tree. I, I would I would uh, reference those. I'm going to have a link, uh, like I said, for those videos. Ref, uh, take a look at those videos and start with something like that. It'll, 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 I think, be more helpful for a beginner 
um, to do something like that, it's a, it's a project that uh, pretty much anyone can do. And you must, you know, those two projects, and you really can't mess up. And, and they're fun to do. So that's where we're at right now. Give you a, a minute to look at that. Again, we're going to be cutting that hat back quite a bit. I'm going to establish um, the bottom of his nose next. So we're going to come down a little ways here, and uh, let's uh, let's call let's call that. It's um, maybe about a third from the hat to the bottom. Maybe about a third down, give or take. Um, again, these are these are not proportioned like a like a normal person, um, you know. But we'll say about, about a third, maybe slightly shy of a third. Uh, maybe it is only a, a quarter of, uh, of uh, you know, a way down. But, um, you know, do with what you do it the way you think looks best. And we're going to just establish where his, where his nose is going to end. And again, he's going to be, he's going to have big beard and, and, and hair coming down the side. So, uh, in fact, we're going to hide his eyes for the most part under his hat. So we'll keep that pretty simple too. And, um, there you go. So you can kind of see how that went. I'm going to bring back the, the top a little bit more. I'm going to try to stop periodically and, and show people where I'm at. Um, a couple of the viewers have mentioned, you know, that, um, you know, when, when I flip pieces around very quickly, sometimes it's hard to follow and, and all that. And I, and I get that. And um, um, so I'm going to try to slow it down a bit and, uh, and allow you to follow along and periodically stop so you can see where, where I'm at. <clears throat> what we do here now is just mark the edges of the nose. So let's kind of come in here. Again, let's redraw our center line. This is our center line right in here. So we're going to come down, come a little ways in from that center, or out from that center line, and just bring it right down like that, and kind of like that. So you have a have a basis for the nose over here. Right. You come out just a little bit more. And then what I do is I just kind of come in here and I'll start over here at the top and I'll just put a stop cut, a relieving cut right down. You can kind of see how that went. And then um, I'm going to do another one right up at the top over here. Put my knife in the wood because what we're going to do, there's just going to be this chunk of wood in here that we're looking to remove. We want to we want to create the sides of the nose. So we're going to come in here when those two cuts are made and just pop out that piece of wood. So it deepens, it deepens the eye area and it creates kind of the side of the nose. And then, we, you know, we can come back afterwards and, and shape the nose. That'll just get us, kind of get us started in there. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You know, put your knife in here, do your relieving cut. And it's pretty much straight into the wood. And just come right down to the bottom of the nose over there. Flip it around. Put your stop cut in the, at the top as a relieving cut, and then we'll do a pairing cut to remove that chunk of wood. All right, just like we did on the other side, we just we create this little triangular trapezoidal shape that eventually will be a nose. And you can kind of come around and start shaping the bridge of the nose a little bit, but you know, we'll worry about that later. Um, I like to kind of take up the sides just a little bit. I don't want to flare it too much because we're gonna we're gonna kind of round off his nose a bit. So you know, just bring it in a little bit here. I'm done, I'll kind of I'll show you what I'm talking about. Kind of like so. All right, and then just start. Uh, what I like to do on these on these gnome characters is kind of aim towards a fairly round, bulby kind of nose. I, I guess that, that looks, you know, more more gnome-like to some extent. Um, 
but again, sometimes as I'm whittling and I do something, I'm like, well, I guess I'm changing that because that didn't work out for whatever reason, or I cut off too much wood or whatever the case may be, um, then I modify it. But for tutorial purposes, we'll, we'll try to, we'll try not to mess up too much. There you go. Jake, we got basis of his gnome nose. And then, you know, we can, we're going to, we're going to work on the nose quite a bit more. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll just get him ready to go. Let's see from both sides. All right. So as far as the ear area goes, we can start figuring out where we want to go with that. Um, let's clean that up just a bit more. Um, I think in an effort to, you know, again, establish boundaries for the size of the face and all that, before we get too much further working on his face, let's get the ear part down. So what I like to do is, if I'm looking at it, typically with ears, I like to come down somewhere towards where the mouth or the bottom of the nose, somewhere in that area. Um, and I'm going to leave a little bit more wood um, that we can work with because he's a gnome. He's kind of got big floppy ear, or relatively big floppy ears, I, I guess, um, you know, in, all, in relative terms. And we're just going to put a stop cut in there and then uh, cut up to that stop cut. Technically, on your, on your head, your ears, the, the uh, part of your ear, the, um, uh, that uh, is closest to, uh, you know, the front of your face, your eyes, is kind of at the halfway mark. And then the rest of the ear sits behind the halfway mark on your head. Um, again, we're not doing this for anatomical studies. We're just doing it. We're just whittling and trying to get a character to, to look kind of fun. So there's a lot of variation you can go. Um, most humans are not going to have ears that stick out this much. But um, so that's it. Let's... Uh, I just like to kind of establish things for myself. It's kind of a bit of a rough out. So there you go. We're gonna be removing quite a bit more here, but I like to establish that. And then we're gonna come over here and make sure we get fairly symmetrical and put another, let's put a line in here. You can see, I just marked a line. We're gonna to try to go fairly symmetrical here and put another stop cut in and do the same thing. Just, just cut up to it. Before you go too far, just you know, recheck to make sure they're pretty lined up. Yeah, they're they're relatively close. All right, let's uh, bring this up just a bit more. I think. That's pretty good. <clears throat> so we'll leave our wood there for our, for our ears. Now we got that. We can start uh, bringing this back a little bit more on the sides here, because we don't we don't uh, we don't need this much wood back here. Not too, too, not too, too difficult. Again, if you kind of do this step by step, yeah, yeah, you'll get it. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll manage it. It's not, uh, it's not the most complicated thing to do. Just take your time, do it step by step, have fun, enjoy it, and you'll be all right. So that's where we're at. Again, I'm going to purposely slow down a bit, give everybody a chance to kind of catch up to where I'm at, look at it. Um, you know, if you don't need that, then, you know, fast forward the video speed. Um, I guess I'll sound pretty funny if you do that, but... Or just lower the volume and fast forward through. All right. Okay, what we can do is establish the where the ears are going to to um, 
actually, before I do that, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this in a little bit more. And then we're gonna reestablish our center line once I do that, the more I'm looking at it. So it's not too bad. It's a little, little hard, but I don't know where it's from or anything. But it's, it's not too bad. Alrighty. Does he look like a gnome yet? <laughs> Get in it there. Call it good. Um, no, obviously he's not a gnome. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, uh, come slightly. Let's let's establish our center lines again. Connect these two over here so we know what we're know what we're doing. That's why it's it's beneficial to, to keep these lines in here as much as possible. Um, it just makes it easier when you're when you're keeping things fairly symmetrical. So we can come in here and remove wood to um, establish the, the, the we want to keep we want to make the ear right about here for this for this sake. So we have to get w rid of this wood here in the front. So what we're going to do is come in here right kind of maybe slightly in front of that halfway mark and just start. Bring this, you know, put a stop cut in there. Um, you don't have to do this in one pass. It, it may be a little deep to do, so take your time um, and uh, and bring it down. And we're just going to relieve that wood over here. That may take a couple, like I said, a couple passes to do it, but. Um, some of that uh, area in front. And we can start flattening this part out over here as it rounds around the face over there. So there you go. Give it another look. What we can also do is uh, come around the back because we don't need uh, we don't need all this wood in the back as well, and and do the same thing. So uh, we'll go a little bit behind. Um, you know, well you can see. Not I'm not going all the way, but just um, I'd say um, if you if you look at from the halfway point to the to the back, we're going probably about three quarters of the way, give or take. Just you know, leave a leave a sufficient chunk of wood in there. We're going to be cutting it down quite a bit, and just do the same thing. It's kind of like what we did on the nose. We put a relieving cut and then we go back in and we just kind of, that's all we're doing. This is almost like doing, doing the nose to some extent. We're just, we're just relieving wood around, a, you know, around this chunk that we want to, that we want to protrude from the surface a bit. All right. So there you go. We just uh, left a chunk of wood in there. That's going to eventually be a little gnome ear or maybe a big gnome, uh, gnome ear. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So um, you saw me do it over here. You don't need to uh, to see that. I'll be right back. Okay, back here. Um, we formed the rough out for both our little gnome ears here. And uh, now you can see what I was talking about. That they, I want the ears to extend beyond the brim of the hat. So I'm going to start cutting back the wood here. And you're going to have to kind of go in and reestablish that that cut above the ear and just be careful with this cut because you're going to be coming down towards the ear. You don't want to, you don't want to break that out. Because again, I just think it looks better if his ears protrude beyond his hat. So you can see what we're aiming towards here. And we're going to go even a little further than that. Let's 
see where we're heading with that now. So, and then we're going to, that's why I don't, I don't, you know, finish that. I just kind of get the, I like to, the way I like to, to whittle is to, you know, work sort of, um, it, rough out the figure, get it to a point and then start going for detail. Um, I think that's better in the long run. If you, if you work towards that, don't work on one piece, don't finish a piece to, to excruciating detail. Cause sometimes what happens is when you start, um, you know, the working on the rest of the piece, especially in a figure, uh, uh, carving a little, um, you, you might, you might have to, you might have to change it. You might say, oh, geez, the nose is, the nose is too wide. I need to shrink that down. You spend all that time getting it just right. Kind of get the rough outs. I always tend to like to leave the wood in areas that are not completely finished, obviously a little bit bigger than I'm going to need. Um, and, uh, you know, that way I have, Wood that I can always remove. Um, something about whittling and wood carving. Being a subtractive art, once you take that piece off, it ain't coming back. All right, I'm just going to finish uh, tapering that hat down again. Um, same thing I did on the other side, so I won't bore you with these details. I'll speed through this and I'll be right back. All righty, there you go. Um, we might work to bring that back even further, but uh, we kind of at least have something to work on. The other thing I want to do is don't don't spend time um, finishing the hat um, at this point because we're going to still be removing wood and you're going to be hitting up against it and you'll you know this part will get kind of kind of chipped up if you if you if you don't leave yourself some wood to uh, clean it up at cl clean it up at the end so to speak. So there we go. Let's give you a chance to look at everything so far. You know, I know this is going to drag out the video a bit, but um, I'm trying to I'm trying to slow it down a bit. So if you are following along, um, you can you don't you don't get overwhelmed. I know sometimes with with videos and even other types of videos that I watch for um, for other projects, other things, uh, other hobbies that I may have, um, people go so fast sometimes, and I'm constantly reaching for the the pause button. And I'm, I'm sure you, you do that with this anyway, but, um, you know, like I said, sometimes just slowing it down. And I think in some ways in our busy life, slowing things down a bit is always a good thing. Okay. There you go. Give me a chance to look at everything again. Let's see where we're at. It's looking a little bit more like a gnome now. What I like to do is, um, at this point, we're going to, kind of figure out what we need here. And I think, um, bring this in just a little bit more because all those little boots over here are gonna stick out some. It's right now, I think it's just a little too much. Bring this down a bit. We're gonna leave wood in here because this is all gonna be beard. You know. Maybe what we'll do at this point is start uh, working on the nose a bit more. Just to kind of clean that up and get that established for ourselves. So what we can do is think about putting like a, a little, we're going to want to round this whole part out here. So maybe we'll establish a nostril line a little higher up than we normally would. So maybe I usually go about a third. I think I'm just shy of the halfway mark. So um, put two little marks for your stop cut in there on either side. Put a little stop cut in the wood and cut down and up to that. Just initially, we're going to establish where the nostrils are going to be. Turn it around and do the same thing. Put your, make your stop cut, cut up and down to it. So, kind of just 
got us a little bit of a, a nose, and then we can start maybe, maybe I'll clean this up just a bit more. Start rounding it, taking little nibbles to round the nostrils out a bit. We don't, you know, if we can kind of keep it soft and round, that'll, I think, in the end look a little bit better. I like to come in here and scoop out a little wood on either side. I'll probably come up here, the top part, the bridge of the nose, and start removing some wood in there too as well, narrowing that down a bit on both sides. And again, just, just aiming for keeping it round. And then over here, we're just going to start, like I said, any sharp angles that you see, let's try to clean those up, get rid of those to some extent. Again, we're going to, you know, we'll come back and we'll do some cleanup work so we don't have to get everything just perfect now, but kind of like so. I think I'm going to bring this down a little bit more, so I'm going to start carefully removing wood at the top. Maybe a little bit deeper, right at the bridge of the nose, uh, where it goes underneath the hat. Kind of like so. Let me clean that out of the way. There you go. So, not too, too. Take your time. Have fun doing it. What we can do next is establish some smile lines. Um, typically they go from the nostril here downward. So we're going to bring this kind of in a little bit. In a little bit because I kind of want them to have... Yeah, I'm going to leave some room up in here and we can bring these kind of around to form a bit of a cheek. His hair is going to come, the beard is going to come down this way on both sides. So we, we're going to leave a little, a little area in here for where his cheek's going to be. So you can kind of see what I drew in here. And I'm just going to come in the, I'm going to come in here right at that, where that nostril notch we made. And just put a little stop cut in there and kind of see how I did that. And then what I like to do is come right along the, right along the nostril as well. And then this is kind of a relieving cut. It's going to help that this little triangular piece of wood pop out. And then you should kind of come in here. You start to pop out that piece. Some of it, you might have to switch to a smaller knife to get in there. But some of it, uh, you know, might be a little difficult to get out. But we'll get it out. Since it's kind of narrow in here, it's sometimes difficult to get to get that wood out. But for now, that's going to be good enough. That helps kind of deepen the nose a little bit too. And uh, let me just switch over to a slightly smaller knife. And um, you know, it's it's kind of more the way your your face and your nose works. So there we go. Clean that up a little bit more. Okay. And again, don't worry about, don't spend too much time um, doing this kind of stuff, little little fiddly cuts and more, because you're going you're gonna to be changing things. So you, know, you can come back and, and clean all that up. Let's get, let's get these bases of our face established, and then we can worry about all that kind of stuff. So for the next side, I'm going to do the same thing uh, that I did over here. I'm just going to put my knife in the wood, kind of follow along my line there, give or take. And then um, and along the nostril again and create that little, little chunk of wood in there. And then we're going to come back here and, and start to pull that out. All 
ready. There you go. Not too big, not too uh, overly involved and complicated. Like I said, take your time with this and enjoy it and have fun. All right, so. There you go. Come back in here and start, you know, again, deepening the, the nose a bit more. We can start to remove some wood in the center here where his beer is going to be. All right. What I like to do is, at this point now, we'll figure out um, kind of where our hair is going to be. So let's say his hair comes down on the side of his face and it's going to turn into, um, well, that's going to, excuse me, we're going to bring this down around here, and this is going to tie into uh, where his mustache and beard is going to be. The rest of his hair is going to kind of come down along the uh, side of his uh, ear over there, and then come right along the front and kind of come down like so. So again, we'll, we'll draw a line over here for the side hair. And it's going to come down, give or take. And then again for the ear. The, side, the, the beard is going to kind of come around, go over top of his boots, so to speak, and then just kind of come down and around, somewhere in there, something like that. I'm not, um, I'm just kind of giving myself some rough ideas of where I want this, where I want these things to go. And kind of like that. It'll help us to establish the, um, if we if we kind of go in here and we and we start looking at the beard, you know, like I said, we're, I'm leaving a little wood here and here, as you can see, um, because that's I'm going to put little boots in there. So what I want to do is establish the um, where the beard is going to kind of drape over the boots and come down in front of them. So we're going to say right about here, and we're going to kind of cut make little stop cuts up to that. So like that, and then on the other side, same thing. Put it in here and then cut up to that line. All right, so you can imagine he's going to have little kind of pointy boots that stick out over here. All righty. To do not all that difficult to do if you take your time. All right, give you a look at that. There you go. All righty, I'm going to uh, let's drop up my knives uh, real fast and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back here. Um, we're going to start, I switched over to a, a slightly smaller knife here. We're going to start working on the ears here a bit. Before we, you know, finalize where the beard and all the hairlines are going to be, let's let's kind of get the ears uh, fairly well established. So we're just going to kind of come, come in here and take little little swooping cuts like, like that. You can kind of see on the side over here. Um, start shaping the bottom. I like to kind of round out the corners a bit. The back, you can kind of take that in, like so. Top as well. Just start shaping. We're gonna give him a little bit of a pointy ear here. So I'm gonna take the top in just a bit more. I think I'm going to take this back just a little bit further. So I'm going to remove some more wood. I'm 
can see how I'm going here. kind of working my way around and yours can be a little bit of a challenge to do. I'm not going to get too caught up in every detail at this point because we still have some work to do but I, I want to get the basis, the overall size of the ear that I'm aiming for done so when I bring the beard line up I can I can uh, I can you know uh, Get it to where it needs to be, respect to the ear. With respect to the ear. These are kind of like little scooping cups I'm making in here. And then on the back here, back of the ear again, I want to kind of make it all come up to somewhat of a, a little point. And we'll bring this in a little bit more as well. getting there right um, I'm not going to do it right now but we're gonna we're gonna cut this section in just a little bit it's gonna look like it's sticking out slightly so don't don't you know thin that out too much at this point but again I'm gonna leave that those little delicate cuts for the end because I don't want to get too caught up in in making you know like I mentioned before finalizing these cuts and then you go and you change something else and you don't have any wood to work with uh, anymore so but that's kind of the the basis we just again shaping it a little bit more so we can with the point of establishing where the beard the beard is going to come right from where the ear ends down and around like that and then his hair is going to be like that so you can see why I'm trying to establish uh, establish that that part over there alrighty so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side just like I said take your time I'll give you a look at that rounding it out again we're not done yet so um, this is just still in the rough out stage all right I'm gonna work to get the other side the same and I will be right back Okay, back here. Um, just uh, you know, trimmed up the other ear, got them both kind of you know ready to go. Not they're not done yet, but uh, there you go. I'll give you a look at that. Um, I just drew in some guidelines for us. This is going to be the side of the beard. This is going to be his arm, which will be tucked into a pocket over here, and this is going to be the back of the hair. So I'll let you get a kind of look at this. And oh, this is the uh, this over here is going to be the other other side of the shoe or boot or whatever gnomes wear on their feet. <clears throat> so if you want to just kind of draw that in, you can see where the center line is. And you know, kind of, again, don't worry too much about exacting measurements. Uh, you know, I'm letting you look at it, uh, get it, get a feel, play around with this as much as, as much as you want. And he's, a, you know, going to be a little chubby, uh, chubby little gnome character here. So, alrighty, um, let's um, let's work on the uh, the rest of the beard over here. We're going to come down uh, again on our guidelines. I did the same guidelines on both sides, and just kind of continue that down. So we're going to take our knife and go right down, uh, bringing the beard, you know, over top of what eventually will be the boot over here. The beard is going to be the you know the the think of when you're doing these. Think of the features that are going to be sticking out above everything else. So the beard's going to be sticking out above the boot, and you know, and the hand's going to be kind of tucked behind the beard a bit more. So 
um, we're gonna we're gonna cut the wood out that way and then and then uh, tuck everything kind of behind that so that's all we're doing here so kind of come back and uh, just remove some some of the wood so we can emphasize his big gnome beard That's all, kind of like so. All right, and uh, again, same thing on the other side. I'll, I'll skip these parts because this is a repeat. I'm just I'm doing the same thing over here. So let me let me finish that up, and then we'll finish. Uh, we'll get back to the other part. Be right back. We did on both sides. You're just removing some of that wood. Uh, next thing we're going to do here, let's uh, let's kind of emphasize where the hand's going to be. So we're going to put a stop cut over there. And since the hand is tucking into a pocket, obviously this part of the hand is going, this wood over here is supposed to look like it's beneath this wood over here. So we're just going to kind of cut down to that part over there. So it'll kind of give the impression that it's, that it's tucking into some type of pocket or, or, or fold in the clothes, whatever, whatever you want it to be. All right, and then the back part of the hand, same kind of thing. We're just going to put a little stop cut. And typically your hand, your arm, the back of your arm is, is a little bit, um, extends beyond the side of your body. So that's, we're going to, again, look at look at that and say, all right, our, we're going to remove the wood on, under that part over there. So that's all. Just make the planes kind of make sense. So Come up around here. We're gonna start trimming the hair next. So that's all. We just we're we're just taking away, creating different planes in the wood. And again, I mentioned this in a number of my videos. Whittling, wood carving. It's all about defining different types of planes and just making them read as whatever you're trying to, whatever you're trying to create. So that's all. You can kind of see. We'll deepen this a little bit more. But again, I, I kind of like to work with a little bit, a little guidelines here and there. So now I'm gonna kinda of come around here and start defining the bottom of the, um, the hair, or the back of the, the hair. So I'm just gonna walk around my guide <coughs> and just do that. All right, and we're gonna go right up to where the ear is. So the arm is going to kind of tuck behind that. Or the shoulder, whatever this part of the guy would be. So we're just kind of defining some boundaries here. We're not; fi these are not finished cuts. We're going to come back and you know work on rounding them out a bit more, so they're so not everything so flat. But you can kind of see he's sort of tucking his hand into a, a pocket or something over there. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing on this side here. I'm going to just do the hair thing first on this side, so we can get that done. All right, same thing. I'm gonna put a stop cut in here where the pocket is. Another stop cut back over here for where the back of the arm, hand, uh, arm I guess really, is. And kind of go in here. And then we're gonna cut down to that one. And then we're gonna cut, if you can kind of see, I'll do it like this. We're gonna cut up to that. On the little corners, I tend to go deeper where the two, where the corner of the hand goes into the pocket. I tend to go deep on both. I put two little stop cuts in there, and then I'll take out a little, a little bit of wood in there. I'll flip it around, maybe you can see it better. So that's all. 
And again, we're, we, these aren't finished cuts. We're going to come back in here and, and, and as we clean things up as we do that. But we're just kind of establishing some, some basis for, for some, some of these features. That's all. All righty. Let's, um, let's work on, since we're basically creating a pocket over here, we're going to finish up, um, we're going to dr draw the, um, this is going to be his boot area in here. So we got a line kind of coming around here, like so, give or take. And we're going to basically just kind of cut up to that line. Kind of like what we did on the other side over here. And then we're going to basically come in here and remove some of that wood. You kind of see what I'm doing there. I just kind of cut that out. So he's kind of his his you know his, his two boots are kind of angled out on both sides over there. He's got to leave room for his beard. And uh, that's that's that. Now we're going to cut. You know, we'll eventually cut the piece off over here, but we're going to. What I'd like to give him is these like pointy kind of, I guess shoes, boots, whatever. You know, whatever they whatever they wear. You can just make this straight. I kind of like to undercut this a bit, as if they're sticking kind of. Up, they crawl up at the end, I guess you could say. Kind of see how that goes. And then what I do is I come in here and I kind of take this back. So this angle of the boot's going to come in a little bit over here, if you can see what I'm talking about. So I'll kind of come back in here and I'll start cutting out some wood. Kind of like so. So this is basically what we what we've done here is we're gonna put uh, we're gonna give him like he, he's wearing some kind of jacket uh, coat cloak not cloak um, I don't know what what do they wear little we're gonna make it pretty simple like I said we're not gonna separate out pants and all that kind of stuff you don't you don't need to on these little figures like this you don't need to do that there you go pretty pretty. Pretty straightforward. And again, we'll, we're going to come back in here. We're not done the beard yet. You know, we got to round this all out and cut up to it and kind of stuff like that. But we're getting there. You could see. That's uh, that's it. You know, we'll, we'll do the same thing on the other side. And I won't bore you with those details because it's essentially the same thing I did over here. So we're just going to kind of, you know, you can kind of come in here and start cleaning that up a bit. So there you go. Not too, not too difficult. It's a little, you know, just take your time. You'll get it. But I'm going to do uh, the same thing on this side. And when I get that done, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. We did the same thing on this side. Gave him a little, little kind of indication of a, of a boot. And or again, I'm not sure what, what you would call it. But that's what we gave him an indication of. I'm just going to kind of come around here. It's at the point now where we can define the bottom of our piece. You know, like I said, eventually, I mean, you could leave it, you could cut it here and leave them on a stand if you want, but I, I you know, I'll just kind of come back at, at when I'm done and cut this off with the, with the handsaw. So just going to, you know, go around and start to, uh, Start to connect that bottom line, which is going to be where we're going to where we're going to cut. So I'm just going to go around and, and uh, do that. So um, let me kind of speed through this part since you know it's not really anything too complicated. Be right back. Okay, I just went back and I kind of um, took some of that down. But what we're going to do is we don't need all this whatever here. The back of his, uh, where his robe kind of comes down here, his cloak, his jacket, his gnome outfit. We can kind of start taking some of that back. It's too much wood there. 
and it'll help round out the piece a little bit. Sometimes, like, um, if you watch the mushroom um, video, I mentioned that in order to sometimes remove wood in an area, um, you, if you undercut it first, you can see undercutting here, then I can kind of come back and get my knife into that little groove over there and then remove, remove it. You know, it, it comes into play if, if you if you if you're keeping it. We're gonna eventually. I mean, I could saw this off now and finish it, but you know, um, I like to have a little to hold on to. But sometimes uh, that having that uh, doing that is a, is a way to undercut uh, pieces a little bit more. So you can see we're 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 pretty far along here on our little on our little guy. Uh, it shouldn't take too much too much longer. I think what we can do now, you could take this in various ways um, at this point, uh, I guess, and and add a little bit more detail, a little less detail. I'm going to keep this simple, and we're going to pretend he's wearing just some kind of some kind of uh, like I mentioned a, a coat here that goes all the way down. We're not going to break out the difference between pants and a and a jacket or put a belt on him or anything like that. He, I don't think we we need to we need to get into that. It's Maybe a little bit too busy for this small figure. You know, he's only barely three inches, or will be barely three inches. So, um, and those kind of details are going to be hidden around the back anyway. So, what we can do is uh, look at the sides of his uh, where his where his uh, hair kind of comes into his you know his sideburned area, uh, sideburn area, and then into his beard. So it's kind of like that. We're just going to connect it into that smile line over there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just kind of come in and got to make sure they're pretty even. I think they're pretty even. So there you go. So what we're going to do here is it's going to be a, you know, his beard. So it kind of comes down and wraps around. And then this is going to be the cheek. We'll put a little indication of some type of eye over here at some point. You know, it, it won't be the full eye. We're just going to. We're just going to cut it so they're kind of, it looks like it's tucked under the wood here. And I'll, I'll switch to a slightly smaller knife over here. And I'm just going to come down along that line. And we're, again, we're going to want the cheek to tuck behind the hair. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to cut down right to that smile line, like so. And then we're going to remove, put a little stop cut up at the top. We're going to remove this section of wood in here. So it looks like it's the cheek is kind of tucking behind, or the, the side of the face is tucking behind the smile line. All right. And, excuse me, for the bottom of the cheek, we'll just kind of start to round that out a bit. Kind of like so. And we'll probably go a little bit deeper, I think, over here. You know, not too, too deep, but a little bit more. I don't want to remove too much of his face. Gnomes have kind of broader faces so I'm gonna come down and start uh, just easing it out a little bit there we go. and then I'm gonna flip it around and just just clean up the the hair part a bit more and maybe angle the bottom of his cheek up just a little bit. Like so. We don't wanna we don't wanna remove too much there. We wanna like I said, this is all gonna be beard, beard mustache, you know, the whole thing. So there you go. And we'll come back in here and do our little cleanups and brush outs and, you know, get the pieces all cleaned up when we're done. But that's all. You can see now he's got, um, now he's got a full, full kind of beard thing over there. So I'm going to just make that area look like it kind of connects in better. And we kind of want this area right underneath the ear here to be a little bit deeper, like it's a shoulder with the arms going back in over there. 
and the beer just kind of continues like that. So there you go. Not all that, not all that difficult to do. And you know, take your time and do it. Don't 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 rush to do it. You know, I mean, we we're having fun here. This is um, you know, if you if you did a few mushrooms and a few evergreen cheese. I mean, if you're brand new to woodling, if you've done a few of those mushrooms like I had, like I did. Uh, uh, the last video and, and the evergreen tree I did before that, those are real great beginner projects. You know, play around with a few of those. Get comfortable with whatever knife you're using or knives and um, what type of wood. In this case, I'm using basswood. I used a variety of, I think I used, uh, yeah, butternut, eastern white pine. Um, so, you know. Pick whatever wood you have available. I know not everybody has access to bass wood. Um, you could certainly have done this type of whittle in something else as well. We're not whole, we're not putting a whole heck of a lot of detail into it, but um, so you know, um, it may not. You, know, you can probably try other woods if, especially if, you know. Well, I'm going to paint this up. So, um, like I mentioned, uh, if you're using a, a nice wood, a very attractive wood like gold butternut, you're not going to want to paint that but uh, that's okay too um you could probably whittle um it might be a little bit more of a challenge in butternut because it's it is uh, uh could be a little <laughs> can be a little harder to harder to whittle but it's doable so there you go give you a look at that not too bad huh and then uh, same thing on this side i'm gonna put um i'm gonna put um the um the, the knife straight into the wood basically and just follow down along that line we made right along the the cheek defining the boundary between the sideburn and the and the cheek there and then come back I'm gonna just take a little stop cut out at the top over here or put a little stop cut at the top I should say and then this this little you can see the cut I made we're gonna come back along the side of that and just take out a little chunk of wood like so so we're just defining that boundary. Not all that complicated. Take your time, have fun doing it. These little new characters are kind of fun to do. Seems like a lot of people like gnomes. And like I said, we did those mushrooms, so I'm gonna, gonna kind of put him in that mushroom. Little, we have a little tiny mushroom forest with three mushrooms that I did last week. Well, I actually did a video on two of them, but I, I whittled th uh, three of them. And um, we'll stick them in there when all said and done. That look good, good in there. We'll set up a little display. So there you go. Our little, our little gnome guy's coming along real nice here. I'm always tempted with videos like this to do it in in two parts because it is a lot of it's going to these videos are going to run a, a long time because again I'm taking my time I'm going slow um, trying to make it um, understandable and approachable for for someone starting out but it, it's the videos run really long and sometimes it's easier just to digest it in smaller chunks but we'll see. Um, I mean, it, this is a pretty good rough out point right over here, but um, once I get started, I, I have a hard time stopping. <laughs> so, all right. So, what can we do next here? Well, <clears throat> we could start um, kind of putting a little texture in the beard here a little bit, kind of taking little cuts out like so. It depends on what kind of how you want to do the hair. You could just or these little texturing cuts like I'm doing right now. Um, you know, maybe we'll add a couple cuts at the bottom of the beard and the hair on the back, just to kind of make it look. I don't know, make it look. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Um, uh, it's like if you if you start adding little cuts 
down here to separate the strands of hair at the bottom, something like that. You know, we'll go around and we'll, we'll probably do that a little bit in the back over here is hair. But I'd like to get these little kind of texturing cuts, you know, scooping cuts in here to add a little wave to the hair, to add just a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a, you know, a variety to it. And um, then come back and put those final cuts in. So that's all. It just adds a little bit more texture to the hair if you do this. You can kind of see. That's all we're doing here. Just going around and doing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do here is is bring this the like we did on this side. Bring this in right over there, right where that top corner is. And I'm just kind of cut out a little wood there, so it kind of looks like the arms and the shoulder are kind of coming together over there. That's all. And it'll deepen it a little bit more. All right. Okay, next thing we can do, <clears throat> before we get too caught up, let's, um, let's scoop out a little bit more in these ears, just a bit more. And then same thing on this side. We'll scoop out just a, a bit more. Kind of like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two little cuts like this. One here and one like that. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to try to, try to line this up. And I'll put one here and one here. Does that look pretty lined up? Yeah, kind of. Maybe down a little bit further on this side. All right, and then we're going to come in here with our knife and stick it right straight into the wood like so. And then another one right over there. And then I'm going to cut up to that and down to that one and then up to that and down to the other one. We're just going to create like a little little chevron, I guess, kind of look over there. And that's it for his, you know, I'll go around and, you know, round them off a little bit more. That's all. That's the kind of simple ear thing you can do. Not too, not too complicated. You might want to make them a little bit bigger. So you can see how it looks from the front. Looks like he's got a little ear thing going on down there. Again, leave a little bit of wood in this area for the earlobe. We're probably gonna cut these ears back a little bit more on this side, on the back side here, to bring them in. Not too much, but just a bit more. I want them to, you know, appear to be a little bit more, a little bit, more straight out. And start rounding this a little bit. I think if you take little scooping cuts on the on the middle part of the ear, like here, what I'm doing right now, it'll give you can kind of let me get some of the wood out of the way here. It'll give a little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, concave appearance to this part of the ear, and you can take your time and just kind of do that. You can kind of see that kind of adds to the effect because what we're going to do is we're eventually going to come back over the top over here and start freeing up some wood in that area as well, just to make it look like they're sticking out a little bit more, and we'll probably have to pull the hat 
back a little bit deeper, but that's okay. That's why we left some wood there. In fact, let's kind of start doing that a little bit here. So you kind of see how that's going. You compare it, let's, if you can compare it to the other one, it kind of sticks out just a little bit more over there. And then maybe we'll start slowly squaring, pointing that up a little bit. Like I said, these are fantasy little creatures, so they have little pointy ears. But sometimes, you know, if you'll see pictures of uh, these things, sometimes they don't have pointy ears. But, and these are going to be too pointy. These are, I've done, um, I think an old video where I have them really long pointy ears where they kind of come up beyond the hat. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but um, this is not going to be obviously that. We don't need to go that far. I think it, you know. It's kind of a weak piece of wood when you start doing that. This is just, this is good enough. And then we'll just, you know, kind of eventually round out the wood here, deepen this little cuts in here. But that's all. So there you go. Not too, too bad. And you can kind of see, it's getting a nice little, nice little ear in there as well. Alrighty. So um, you saw me do that over there. I won't, uh, I won't make you sit through that again. I'll do the other side off camera. And um, then we'll come back and and um, start to um, you know go around and do some um, little maybe we'll put the indication of eyes and, and then we'll start doing the little little finishing up parts of it. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Got both ears uh, pretty much uh, pretty much done. You know, I know I'll probably go back and you know fuss around with it for a bit more because why not? I'm a widower. That's what we do, right? So, um, but. You don't need to watch me do that. So anyway, um, we'll start uh, kind of rounding out the arms. I, I just like to go behind the beard over here and, and make a deeper cut. You can kind of see if you look in there and then maybe take the arm. So it's, it's kind of indirectly causing the arm to, to round out a bit. So we're just going to come in here and take out a little bit of wood there. So it kind of looks like the arm's tucking behind it. It's a little bit rounder as it goes into the sleeve of our pocket. All right. And you're gonna come back and start texturing the surface a little bit more. Again, I'm gonna to try to keep all the details to, you know, to, let me brush this out a little bit, to as, you know, as minimal as possible. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get caught up with too many, putting all the little details in ear cuffs and, and all that kind of stuff because I think it becomes a little bit overwhelming if you're if you're doing this, and then um, you know you, you it just frustrates yourself. So let's let's keep it. We're already adding quite a bit of detail and complications to this whittle, um, but uh, let's let's try to let's try to keep it within reason here, so so everyone can can give a shot. And for those people who, who, you know, are already fairly experienced, uh, I know there's a, a number of people who, who watch my channel that uh, have whittled and do whittle quite a bit. And, um, and you know, th they're going to take it to the, if, if I'm just, for them, it's more entertaining to watch me screw up, <laughs> I guess. But no, they'll, they'll, if they're, if they're going to do this, then, um, um, uh, you know they're they're going to add their own detail to it, but for a beginner, let's let's keep it as as basic as possible. So I kind of just rounded out the arms a little bit. So like I said, just kind of go around and give it the you know anything. We're, things should be appear to be more round in any kind of figure carving you do for the most part. You should have a lot of square uh, parts to it. And I did kind of kind of do the same thing over here. I already did some of it. Um, we're going to come in here, and again, like I said, at the corners, I do tend to kind of take that in a bit and just, you know, create some roundness. That's all. So that's kind of that. Maybe I'll deepen this a little bit more. I'm looking at this over here. Maybe this back part can go a little bit deeper, so I'll put my knife in, create a bit of a cut in there and then just kind of come back and deepen that just a little bit more. 
that's what I was saying. If you if you you know cut everything to um, cut everything away right from the get go. Sometimes when you're finishing up your piece, you're like, oh, you know what? I want that to go a little bit deeper, or, or you know, I like where it is. Uh, it gives you a little bit more options when you're when you're doing your cleanup. So I kind of like that. I think it looks a little bit better, a little bit more defined like that. And since we're, you know, when we paint this too, also that's a, a kind of another thing to consider when you're painting these, when you're, when, when you're whittling these, consider if they're going to be painted, consider what's going to be painted and how it's going to look. And, you know, um, if he's wearing one kind of uh, coat here, then all this is going to be the same color. So um, make sure it, it, you want it, you know, you're not going to be able to define it with, with, a, with uh, some paint. So kind of keep that in mind too. I mean, we, we, you know, we could, we could have broke the coat up over here and then call that pants, but you know what? I, I, that's that's kind of like I said. Uh, we're 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 keeping these we're keeping these as reasonable as possible to do. Alrighty. So you know, for the final cuts on the boots, I I just kind of come in here and I'm I'm going to kind of create a bit of an angle on that side and that side. So it's kind of like. Kind of like um, a plane here and then a plane there and they kind of they kind of come up to a point in the center and then I do the same thing on the top I'm going to come down here with a plane and down here with a plane all angled so it's kind of kind of looks like a, a, a boat a little bit and maybe right on the top we bring it down you know deepen that a little bit more kind of like that and undercut this maybe a little bit more. All right, so that's that. And um, I'm going to do the same thing on this boot. I won't, you know, bore you with those kind of details. Uh, so let me let me do that, and then we'll come back and we'll start uh, putting the finishing touches on our little on our little fella here. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Okay, just kind of went around there, and I played around with getting the. Little shoes a little bit better, um, just a little bit protruding a little bit more, and um, I kind of come back here and then start cleaning up where the pants and the boots kind of come together. But what we could do here, um, and it's not necessary because you could kind of leave it like that. But if you want to put the indication of a little mustache, you can kind of kind of and a mouth. We can kind of come in here. Uh, let, this is the center point, and let's put a little stop cut in there. And we'll do two angled cuts. You've seen me do this on, on other on other videos, wood spirits and stuff like that that I've done. So we just created this little arrow, and then we're going to just kind of take out the wood on those stop cuts there. All right, and that kind of I'm thinking in some ways we might just want to make this mustache very subtle, like it's just kind of blending into the. Uh, Blending into the beard, you know, sometimes I define them a little bit more, but you now let's make this one just a little bit more subtle. Like it's just kind of blending into the beard. All right. Now, we got that. So you can kind of see how that looks. So it kind of looks like, you know, a mustache kind of coming into a beard. We don't have to define it any more than that, I don't think. What we could do <clears throat> is kind of give the indication that there's a lip in there, like his uh, bottom lip is. I'm just going to kind of clean this up a little bit more. His bottom lip is um, protruding. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut here, and we're going to make a cut here, form a little triangle, like so. You can make it a little bit broader if you want, but I think this will be good. So I'm going to put my knife in the wood, cut along there, cut along there. And then we're going to cut up to the stop cuts we need. This is going to form his lower lip. little triangle 
So then, to do the lip, we just cut the bottom of that triangle right off. And that gives him the kind of the illusion when we do one more cut of a lower lip. Kind of go around and just, you know, clean that up a bit and, you know, round out that lip a little bit more. But what I like to do uh, to emphasize a little bit more is right there, right in the center. I'll put a little cut here and I'll put a little stop cut there. And then I kind of go with my knife almost perpendicular to the piece. And I just scoop out a little piece of wood in there. I hope you saw that. You know, it's, it's, it's actually a really simple cut to make. And it kind of gives the illusion that, you know, that there's some depth in there. And it's actually a lip and a mouth that he's, you know, maybe got slightly open. That's all. And that's how you get a little lip in there. And then, you know, when you paint this up, you're going to create a, uh, what I, like I had mentioned, I think, on another video. Um, you'll take your, whatever your flesh tone paint is, the paint that you're going to do over here. Add a little bit of a pinkish color to it. Not a lot. I don't want him to look like he's got lipstick on. Unless he's one of those gnomes. Um, but um, you want to um, you want to then just hit that with just a little bit of that paint. And that'll, that'll make it look like a lip. And it actually breaks up all that beard uh, color. So it helps. So there you go. So we got a little... Kind of a little mouth in there, you know. I'm sure he's grumbling, he'd moan, uh, a gnome. I guess they could be happy or grumbly, you know. Or maybe, what is it, the dwarfs that are more grumpy? What were the names? I forget, but these are gnomes, they're not dwarfs. All right, so we got um, pretty much everything that we want to get done here. We can um, start figuring out the hair. And then um, and call it call it good. So I'm just going to kind of come through here. I'm going to go around, and I'm going to texture this hair just a bit more before I put some other cuts. And I think I'm going to go a little deeper where I'm looking at it. Yeah, I want to go a little bit deeper here. I think it's if you look at it from the side. I think it needs to go. I think his head needs to round in a little bit more. So we're going to go a little deeper over here before we finish up on the hair. And that's the thing. Keep looking at your piece as you're doing it, you know. Take a look at it and and uh, see if it's, you know, if something needs to change, uh, change it. Sometimes, um, I'm sure you're like me, you change too much. And you're like, uh oh, well, I guess he's not going to be a gnome anymore. He's going to be some bald-headed old man. <clears throat> something like that and then we can kind of like I said then you're gonna come in here I'm gonna start to uh, start that out um, and then once we're done with all the texturing of the hair we'll finish up the hat so let me finish up I'm just gonna come I'm just gonna kind of go around you see what I'm doing here I'm just taking these little little texturing cuts all over like kind of like that just to kind of clean up the surface a bit and also to create a little, just a little interest in there. And I'm going to do the same thing on his beard area. And we're going to come back and, and do some of these little, um, you know, hair, the ends of his hair. Like that. So that's all. I'm just going to kind of go around here and little tiny, tiny cuts. These can be, sometimes can be, if you're going... Um, with or against the green, when you're making small cuts like that, especially, um, it'll be careful because it will tear out. Okay, let's just do some uh, little cuts here. We're just going to go kind of somewhat randomly and just put a little, little, we're getting like little V cuts in there. I guess if you had a V gouge, you could use that to kind of do this too, but you know, you can do it with a knife. Just kind of go around toward at the end. Of the you know where the hair kind of comes into at the ends of the hair areas and just you know put random little cuts like this and it'll give the illusion that the hair that you know it's that it's hair and it's kind of separating around you can go all the way up the, the side if you want to 
don't go too overboard, but you know, put them where you think they look, where they look good, and where it kind of makes sense. No, no real rules and, and what have you. And maybe another one over here somehow. There's. And then same thing on the uh, back of the hair too. We'll start to, or excuse me, the, the head hair. Uh, we'll start to do the same thing. And, you know, again, you, you don't have to put these in here. You can kind of just leave it. But we'll add them. There you go. Sometimes what I do is I'll come in at the bottom of all those cuts and I'll start to just kind of round them out a little bit because it looks a little too too sharp edged sometimes. So if you do if you kind of come back in and you and you round out and you undercut a little bit so you go right where you right where the end is you can see over here and then I just take a little notch here and here. Kind of do that. So it kind of creates like a kind of a chunk of hair over there. Just you know there's so many different ways you can do hair. Uh, I get, this is a real easy and I, I kind of like it. I think it's an effective way to do it and it Gives just enough of the illusion. Okay, I think we're coming along pretty good here. Um, for the eyes, we're just going to put, very simple, we're gonna kind of put a, a little bit of a stop cut like that. I'm gonna cut up to it, cut down to it. And I think that's maybe it. You know, maybe a good droopy eyes a little bit. All right, that's all we're gonna do. We're not even going to, uh, we're not gonna give it more detail than that. I don't think it's necessary. And again, from a beginner standpoint, that's probably all you need. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit in there. Great, it's just enough. So, pretty good. And then um, we'll look at this side over here kind of do the same thing, you know, try to keep it symmetrical to some extent. So I'm going to put a little, I'm going to put my knife right in the wood over there, just like we did on the other side. Put a little stop cut, cut up to it, cut a little down to it, maybe curve it just slightly on the end over there. That's all deeper in here a little bit. Sometimes I'll, sometimes I start by taking out wood, but in this case I kind of forgot to do that, but we can kind of come back in here and just remove a little bit of wood right against the nose, where the nose and the eye area come together. It should be a little bit deeper in there. That's, I believe, like the deepest spot on your face. So, you know, when you're cut, when you're whittling it out, just kind of go deeper in there. Same thing over here. That's kind of it, you know. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry about doing much more than that. For the hat, we'll start taking um, we'll start taking the the bulk of the hat back a bit now, since we're kind of at the finishing stage. I'm just gonna kind of come in here, them's a pretty you know their hats are pretty conical if you look at them. And we have a lot more to remove off the back, so let's just kind of get that out of our way. Get the top to somewhat of a point. Again, following along with your with your guidelines, you're gonna if you put those in there. I mean, it's not gonna be a sharp point, but we're gonna narrow it down at the top over here. And if you use your guides, you can kind of see how how close you're coming. So you can kind of see we're almost there. I 
like I said, it's tilting to, towards the back a little bit because of the angle. Get it from the front and just keep rolling it down. What you're going to do is eventually get, get the top pretty pointy, but you know, we're not going to make it sh a sharp point. We're just going to kind of, once we get down to a reasonable level, we'll just kind of let round it over a bit. All right. See how that is over there. And I'm just gonna, just to get rid of saw marks and pencil marks, I'm just gonna kind of round it over just a bit. All right, and now that we have that, we can kind of come up the sides a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to, um, you see what I'm doing here, I'm just going to finish uh, finish that, clean up a couple pieces, clean up a little bit on here, I'm not really going to add any more detail, any anything else. The one thing I will do, maybe with a smaller knife, is I'll come, at, I'll come around here like where the pocket sort of is and, and kind of just round that a little bit over, you know, any anything like that. I don't, I don't want a lot of uh, sharp folds, but uh, I'm going to... I got to come back once I cut this piece off and then, you know, finish the, uh, the bottom edge of it. But, um, that's all. I kind of want to make it look like his hands in a pocket over there. You kind of, if you, if you use your, if you use your knife and you kind of cut away some of the, some of the wood, uh, it'll give the impression that he's got his hands in his pocket over there. Well, obviously that's what he's doing, but you know, it'll, it'll read that way even better. And then once I cut it off, I can come back and, and do the final, you know, cleaning along the bottom edge and, and the beard and all that. And um, so let me, let me get to that point. And when I do, I will be right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you, I cut them off. Uh, what I do after I, I cut them off, I kind of go back in here and I'll start cleaning up that, that cut edge. I just use, a, you know, basically a uh, little saw here to, to do it. And... Um, It's like a finished saw, so you can, it gets pretty clean cut for the most part. And I'll just come back around and clean it up a bit, that's all. What I'll do here for the feet, I'll kind of cut in on both sides. So, kind of see from the front. And then the same thing with the beer, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll give the, we'll just round it out a bit more on the bottom there. And that's kind of all. Um, I'll go around and, and do that, clean it all up. And just before, I'll give you a quick look now, just before I'm ready to paint, um, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like right before the painting. Alrighty. I'll be right back. Okay. Here's our little gnome guy. All ready to go. Ready for painting. There's a front view. I'm going to turn on the side here. Little side view over here. Oop. It's a little tippy. Back view. The other side. Not overly difficult. Take your time. You can kind of do it. It's there's all not a whole heck of a lot of uh, you know really difficult detail. Probably the most difficult part is going to be a little ear section over there. Um, but again, these are these are good practice. This is like a kind of a step up after you've done your mushrooms and your trees and all that little little stuff and your ten minute wizards. You know, give one of these give one of these a try. Uh, I think they're very doable for people who are, are relatively new to whittling. You know, you take your time and you'll 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 do it. Um, there you go. So I'm going to paint it up 
and then um, we'll put them in a little mushroom forest and we'll, we'll give you a little, uh, a little view of all that. All right, be right back. Okay, here's our little gnome guy all painted up. Um, I just added a little, a little patch in there, cut out, uh, you know, a little bit there, just to, just to give it a little, a little personal touch there. I didn't paint his hair, but I painted everything else. Um, so there you go. Not a bad little, uh, not a bad little project. It's uh, you know kind of a next step beginner project. After you do your mushrooms and your and your little uh, pine tree, you can uh, you can give this guy a shot. I hope you found this uh, video useful and helpful. Let me know in the comments. And I know it was a long video. I appreciate you sticking with it. So. Um, I'll show you the uh, little uh, little scene coming up next. Thank you, and have a great whittling week. Take care.